Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Ball's weapon as well as her artifact set. So, if you guys want to know what they are, I'm about to tell you right here, right now. Actually, before I do that, guys, I wanted to thank you guys so much for the support on my last few videos as well as my channel. We have reached 400 subscribers. That is insane to me. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, we get to 500 subscribers very soon. That will be our next goal. So, if you do like this video, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel as well. Let's get straight into it. Guys, what is Ball's best artifact set? In my opinion, it's going to be the Emblem of the Severed Fate. So, the Emblem of Severed Fate set has a 4-piece bonus that's pretty good on Ball. Because Ball's elemental skill uh, will help her elemental burst and that elemental burst is being boosted right here through the emblem of server fate set so you increase your elemental damage or elemental burst damage rather by 25 percent of your energy recharge so everyone's energy recharge starts at 100 percent so anything above that uh, you can get a maximum of 75 percent bonus damage through the four piece set so that's a pretty big boost if you can manage to get the entire boost there so yeah i'm just gonna be showing you guys some of my artifacts i do not think my artifact set is complete even though i have them on the 20 or whatever i am still working on them they're very very lackluster at the moment however i do plan on improving on them and building these artifact sets for the further future just to get better stats on my ball all right so first artifact here i'm thinking of this feather which has three two rolls on crit rate one roll on crit damage the rest on hp versus this one which has you know just rolls everywhere here so yeah this is probably going to be the better one if i had to switch between them so i'm, I'm just going to do that really quick just so you guys can get a good idea uh, i should have showed you the flower the flower is pretty lackluster as well with crit damage being 20 at 21 percent i'm going to master at 40 defense at 10.9 which is pretty high for an artifact of you know just a flower artifact right all right so the sand is going to be attack percentage on the sand i do want it to be energy recharge but i only have a four star energy recharge sands and i've been trying for so long to get a good one and i got this one which is defense percentage which has crit and crit damage on it as a four you know set substat it's crazy it's really unlucky for me all right, so the attack percentage goblet is also pretty, you know, I don't like this. You should you know, try to get an electro damage one um, if you can, I guess. I still think it's going to be pretty good having an electro damage one. Uh, if not, I'm just going to be rocking the attack percentage one. It's a little unfortunate that I'm not getting one that's on set. It's kind of, you know, incredibly difficult to do that. So... We're just going to be running that for now and I'm going to be running a crit rate mask because my crit rate is incredibly low. So I'm going to be trying my best to get another crit rate mask that's on set so I can change that and move on to an energy recharge sands somewhere along here or an electro damage goblet which would probably be better. Anyways, I'm talking too much about my own artifact set. Your artifact set should be the Emblem of Severed Fate. If you want the best performance in terms of all damage for your Raiden Shogun aka well so uh, what about her weapons what are be what am I going to use on her well if you guys didn't know uh, for the weapons the catch which is going to be coming in Genshin Impact 2.1 it's going to be a free r 5 able four star weapon that's going to be pretty much the best in slot for her it's going to be great. It has elemental burst damage increase as well as her crit rate increase. So it's going to be really, really good for everyone who's, you know, lacking any crit rate. So I'm going to probably be rocking that if I can't get Ball's weapon. All right. So I also have the Skyward Spine, which uh, I might consider raising uh, right after the catch or right after the new weapon that I have a potential chance of getting um so yeah i'm probably gonna be trying this out as well uh, as you guys can see it has energy recharge as a main stat and the substat increases crit rate attack speed and the normal charge attack hits have a 50 percent chance to trigger 40 percent of attack is damage this means nothing to me but this is pretty okay i guess 
Um, but the main thing is it has energy recharge, which is pretty nice. And if worse comes to worse, I'll, I could just run the Black Cliff Polearm or the Deathmatch for that extra crit percentage. If, you know, worse comes to worse. But yeah, uh, a lot of you guys might not have that option, so I didn't want to make too much of a fuss about it. Alright, cool. So I told you guys about the artifact set, I told you guys about the weapon. What if you don't have time to grind out the weapon to R5, whatever, what other weapon would you want to use? Um, maybe the prototype star glitter if you just want extra energy recharge for your burst damage to do some more damage. Um, it's kind of unfortunate for the prototype star glitter because this increases your elemental skill. Um, after using elemental skill you get increased in normal and charge attack. That's not going to be any way, shape, or form useful for your ball ult. This is probably going to be a very, very bad choice in any circumstance. And the Favonius Lance is going to be pretty bad for your ball other than the just the extra energy recharge. So I wouldn't even recommend this one either. Please, please, please do try to use the catch because it's probably going to be the best 4-star weapon for ball no matter what. Um, I can guarantee you that. Alright, that's going to be pretty much it. I talked about her weapon, her artifact set. That's pretty much it. Now I'm, I could show you guys how prepared I am for ball. I'm going to be ready to get ball to level 90 as well as her talents at least 888. I think I'm going to be trying my best to do that if I do get enough dream solvents. So yeah, I do have enough heroes with as well as you guys can see I have quite a lot here and I've been trying to grind out um, other materials right here just so I can use dream solvent if I need to do that um where's my, where's my dream solvent i don't know it's somewhere in there um we also have the talent books which is maybe balls talents i'm not really sure don't quote me on that it's just speculation uh, obviously balls are going to use the you know, gem the you know electro gemstones here so i'm pretty stacked and ready for that Anyways, that's gonna be it from me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you got something out of this, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. Again, thank you guys so much for the support. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.